What is going on everybody? Tech Enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you how to transfer data from your micro SD card onto a larger micro SD card. So there are two ways you can do this. Firstly with a Steam Deck dock. This is an unofficial dock but you can use the official dock as long as you know you have the USB-A ports and then you're going to need a micro SD card reader like this one. You can plug it into the SD card adapter or directly into the micro SD port and then plug it into the dock like so. Secondly, I have a USB-C hub and just like the dock, this has USB-A ports as well as a SD card slot and micro SD slot where you can directly plug in the micro SD card, eliminating the need for a SD card reader. And I have actually reviewed both of these products and you can find them on my channel. So back on the Steam Deck, press the B button to get the side menu out. Then scroll down to settings and then go down to system. And you will see the option to format SD card. At this point, make sure your current micro SD card is not in the Steam Deck. You're going to be putting in your new micro SD card and you're going to be formatting it. Remember, you're going to be losing all data on there. When it is formatting, it's going to say testing. It could take a good couple of seconds. Just wait for it to finish. Once that has finished, hold on to the power button and then click on switch to desktop mode. Oh, and I just want to quickly mention, make sure your Steam Deck is fully charged or you are charging it when you're transferring the files over as you don't want it to switch off when you're doing the transfer. So once in desktop mode, I'm just going to go over to the right hand side here and click on the USB icon. We can see the micro SD card for the Steam Deck is already mounted. I'm just going to click on mount and open the SD card that's in the hub. So we can see three files here. That's completely fine. The Steam Deck automatically creates that when you format your SD card. So I'll show you how to get into your micro SD card from the root directory. So double click on the run folder, then media. Then you'll see a folder called MMC blk 0 p one That's the micro SD card in the Steam Deck. And here I've got my folders and files. Obviously you'll probably have different files to myself. So we're gonna just select the file that we want to copy over so if we go to the top left hand corner of a file or a folder you see the plus icon just choose these and then you can copy them over some files you can't copy over like the trash and lost and found so select the files and then drag them to that tab and then you can drop them here you'll see a prompt to move here or copy over i'm going to do copy just in case if anything were to go wrong my original micro SD card would be completely fine. If you have any files that are the same, it will prompt you to overwrite. So you can just click on write into and that will copy the folders or files over. So here you can see the transfer has begun. So right now it's showing about 25 minutes, but that will increase as it finds all the files and folders. And obviously the more data you have on here, the longer time it will take to transfer over. So I had to shorten the video here because it took me about an hour and 20 minutes to copy everything over. And if you get another prompt that there's an existing file, you can just click on overwrite. And then you finally get the icon here at the bottom saying copying has finished and you can just close it. And then you can close the uh, file explorer here. And on the USB icon, you can see data has been transferred over and we're pretty much done. So all we have to do now is go back into gaming mode and we can remove our new micro SD card and pop it into the Steam Deck. So back on the Steam Deck, I'm just gonna check one of my games are working. I know Metroid Prime Remastered is definitely on the micro SD card and I'm just gonna launch it. Okay, so the game has opened up and it's completely fine. You might want to test your other games or other data that is on there. Once you are happy with that, then you can, you know, format your older micro SD card and do whatever you want with it. Okay, so that wraps up for this video. If you have found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If it is your first time here, then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up. So make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release my videos. Please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And like always, thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.